Why do all NPCs in Genshin look the same? They seriously gotta fix this. At first glance, it doesn't seem so bad, but the issue is a lot deeper than you may think, and I'll explain exactly why. When you first start playing, it's okay. You know, it's not really an issue because I think they pretty much designed how the NPCs look for the total amount in the initial portion of the game, where everyone looks different enough that it really doesn't really matter. But then, as Genshin slowly takes over your life, you pour about 100 plus hours and your friends and family slowly forget how you look because you're more invested in Teyvat than, you know, the actual planet that you live on. It really does become an issue when you get to Inazuma. You know, the place controlled by the Raiden Shogun. No, not that Raiden. This Raiden. Because at this point, you're heading to, like, the third major continent slash area in the game, and you start to realize, why does everyone look the same? Playing Guess Who with Genshin NPCs would be an absolute nightmare. In Inazuma, the story gets a lot more dramatic. Like, it gets so dramatic that the MC actually has to start talking. I challenge you to a duel before the throne. But, but I'm gonna be honest, it's quite hard to remain invested when I've seen this guy's face like at least 50 times. They all look like clones of each other or really closely related siblings. So I'm sorry, I'm not gonna get emotional if I know I'm gonna see your face in the next five minutes on the next continent over. So, uh, meh. It just reminds me of that iconic scene from iRobot. You know, when he's running around the room and you guys, he's looking at all the robots. Yeah, that would that's what would happen if Genshin didn't actually hold your hand telling you where to go to the exact NPC because you won't know who to go to because they all look exactly the same. That's one of the reasons I didn't get too excited about Sumeru because these guys look like they've been plucked out the previous place I just saved so mm, it does take a bit of that excitement away. Yeah they do make some new characters but when I see this guy's face again it kind of takes me out of the immersion. At this point I honestly wouldn't be surprised if these guys are just following me around the wall just changing their names and clothes when I'm not looking at them. That would be a great twist and if Mihiro actually puts that into the story and that's why everyone looks the same I wouldn't mind. While recording this video I was actually surprised that I found a different looking NPC but then I got disappointed that Mihoyo got a bit lazy and pasted this guy everywhere in Port almost. It's like they don't even try at this point they know they're gonna get away with it so they just copy and paste all the same looking NPCs two feet away from each other and it's actually kind of comical at this point. Now by now I don't really think it's possible to do much as we're like 4 years in and Mihoyo still haven't done much to fix this issue. Of course if it was easy or possible they probably would have done something by now and that makes me think there's probably a more deep routed issue with the game itself that they can't change too much. But please do something, I don't know how many times I can see this guy's face, he's literally invading my personal space and my dreams at this point. All this being said, I do have to give Mihoyo credit in one regard and that is new playable characters, I mean they are so full of life that it makes up for all of the lack of originality with the, all these NPCs. I mean just check out Kiara, she does a whole lot for the world building of Genshin and you can see about it in this video right here. 